All right, y'all. So I gotta tell y'all, I found this recipe online on TikTok. Are y'all on TikTok? Well, I look at it sometimes and I saw this girl, she made this like queso dip in her crock pot and she said it's like the like as good as restaurant queso. So I'm trying it. So I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I've never made this before. This is the first time, so you know what I figured? I'll just I'll just do it with y'all and we can see how it turns out together, all right? I feel like it should be good, but we gonna see. So y'all see I have my kitchen scissors here. I love using these. We're gonna take a pound of pepper jack cheese and then a pound of American cheese. Let me get this out of here. All right, now we're just gonna dump it all in. If I, man, I can't even get this out, y'all. This is hard. So we're gonna put both of these in the crock pot. Now I'm gonna cut them up in squares. I guess it helps it melt better. I don't know, that's what she did, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cut them up. I guess I could use a knife too, but this is much easier, much easier. All right, so one pound of pepper jack, one pound of American. We're putting this in the crock pot. This is perfect because I'm having a little gathering later, so I'm cooking a lot of yummy dishes today, and uh, I think this one will be a hit, hopefully. Hopefully it's good. All right, so I'm just going to break these squares apart a little bit, just just roughly. I mean, I don't think it really matters, but again, this, I'm just trying to follow what she did, so uh, I guess she knows. It looked real good at the end, too, so we'll see. I'm going to try it out, though. I'm going to try it out. All right, y'all. All this cheese. So much cheese. I love cheese. What do y'all think? Have y'all ever made a queso in the crock pot? If you have, let me know. I want to know your recipe because I love queso. It's like my favorite thing to do. When I when I have a, an off day, I, I like to go to the local Mexican restaurant, have me a margarita and some queso and chips, and you know what? Life is good. Then life is good, y'all. All right. I know I'm just peeling this cheese apart for a long time, but okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, so we have our cheese. Next, this is what she did too. She took two, oops, I spilled some. She took two cans of evaporated milk, all right? Two cans. So we're going to dump these right on in, just like so. All right. All right, now in her recipe, she put in a jalapeno. She chopped up a jalapeno, and that was it. But I'm changing, you know, y'all know I like to change mine a little bit. So we're taking a can of Rotel, and I'm going to dump this whole can right on in. I drained out a lot of the juice, y'all. And then I also have here uh, these, uh, mild green chili. So I'm going to take like a spoonful of these and I'm just going to put it right on in. All right. So I'm going to kind of mix this. I mean, it's kind of hard to mix because we got these big old chunks of cheese, but I'm just going to kind of get the, the tomatoes in there. So yeah, like I said, y'all in her recipe, she just did the cheese, the evaporated milk and a whole jalapeno, chopped it up and put it in. But I don't know. I feel like I, I like when I have queso with some tomatoes and stuff in it. So we're going to try this. All right, y'all. So that's really it. Now, all we're going to do, we're going to cover this, and we're going to cook this on high for about two hours. But uh, I'm just going to eyeball it and see when all the cheese is melting, and I'm so excited to try this with y'all. All right, y'all, this has been on high in my crock pot for two hours, all right? So we got to mix it. Oh, wow. Okay, we got to mix it. Let's see. All right, it's a little more liquidy than I thought, but we'll see. Okay. So remember, y'all, I haven't tried this yet. This is like that viral TikTok queso, but actually, once you stir it, all right, all the cheese is melted, so that's good. It smells good. So you know what, y'all? I think it's time to try it. All right, and yes, I'm mixing it with a fork. All right, so what we gonna do here, I'm gonna move this over. I have a little platter here. Actually, this is a bacon dish, because I don't have a chip platter, but this is, this is what we gonna do, okay? So we're gonna ladle some of this cheese right into this bowl in the center. All right, I don't know. I kind of feel like, I feel like we need some more color. Should I put a few, I'm gonna put a few more of these chilies right on top, just like, like that. I mean, that's not very colorful, but whatever. <laughs> we trying. All right, uh, here, here, here it goes, y'all. Let's see. I'm gonna take one. We're gonna see if this is if this is as good as they say on TikTok. And remember, I changed it up a little bit though, but it's gonna be real hot. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Okay, stop dripping. All right. Okay, y'all. It's pretty good. You know what? I think I need to try it again to make sure it's good. It's pretty good. Mm. Okay, y'all, um, two things. One, it does taste like the kind you get at a restaurant, the queso. Two, it's a little bit spicy for my liking. I'm very sensitive, I know it's crazy, but I think those fire roasted tomatoes, next time I might not use, a, I might not use that because it's a little spicy, but it's real good, y'all. You should try it, you should try it. And if you make it and you do something different, let me know because I, I wanna know, I love queso. I'm just gonna keep eating this.